In this course, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor. And for the back end, I'm going to be using MAMP. Now, if you're already a coder, you have your preferred working environment, then please feel free to use the one you already use. You do not have to use Visual Studio Code or MAMP. Having said that, if you want to follow along with me and use exactly the same tools that I'm using, then it might be a good idea to download these two packages. After all, they are free and they are available for Windows and Mac. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to be downloading and installing the Mac versions, obviously. And the first thing to do is to download Visual Studio Code. Now that's available from code.visualstudio.com. You get to this page here. You can click on this little drop down and make sure you've got the right version. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded that just to save a little bit of time. Then go to mamp.info, go to free download, and again, choose whether you want Windows or Mac. And again, I've downloaded that Mac install. So if I head across to Finder, my downloads folder, you can see the two packages here. And first of all, I'm going to download, that's right, install MAMP. Now if I go across to my Finder and go to my downloads folder, you can see the two packages here. I've got MAMP and Visual Studio Code. Now the first one I'm going to install is MAMP. So double click and just go through the usual install process for a Mac. And it should be a very similar process again for Windows as well. So install, put my password in. Now I know on this machine, it should take around about two minutes for this particular install. I've got quite an old machine, but I'm gonna go ahead and install Visual Studio Code while that's working in the background. So double click to install Visual Studio Code. Now this one is a lot faster and, and there you can see it's actually installed already. Now it's installed into the downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is just gonna grab that and drag it and drop it into my applications folder. There we go. If I scroll down, there we can see I've got Visual Studio Code. Now let's see what MAMP is doing in the background here. Okay, it's nearly finished, just a few more seconds, and there it is, successful. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to keep that install package just in case. Now MAMP, there it is, there's the MAMP folder, and I can actually start that package up. Now, when I start uh, MAMP up here, it automatically for me, it's already starting the servers and this can take a few seconds. And to be honest, it can be a little bit temperamental. So let's go ahead and see if that makes a start. If you do experience any issues, then what I recommend is that you restart your machine. Now, what it's gone ahead and done, it's opened up the MAMP background information, if you like. I'll just go back to here just to show you what's happening. So it started the servers. You can see I've got a green light here. In my preferences window, you might have different things ticked. So it says start servers when starting MAMP, check for updates, open the web start page, which is this page in the background, and stop the servers when I'm quitting MAMP. So that's a good thing to have uh, switched on. If I look at my port numbers, I've got the default port numbers here of double eight, double eight. Now, if you do experience issues, you might want to change these. Sometimes I've changed this one to 8,000, 8,000 and 8,001, and that's fixed some issues I've experienced in the past. I'll just click on cancel because I don't want to do anything with that. So as I said, the servers have started. I've got the green lights, so I'm okay to go ahead. And if I was to click on web start, it would open up this page here. Now on this link here, it says my website. And when I click on that, you can see I get this welcome message, welcome to MAMP. So everything is working as it should. So what I'm going to do is go back to Finder and scroll down to Visual Studio Code and open up Visual Studio Code. Now when it, Visual Studio Code opens, what I should see is the code for that welcome page. And, and there it is. It's index.php and this is all the code. And just to show that that is the case, I'm going to Command or Control A, I'm going to delete all that. And I'm going to put in a PHP tag. And the first thing I'm going to do, as all good coders do, is hello world. And I'm gonna go back to my page here. And I'm going to refresh. 
and there you can see I've got hello world. So everything is set up and ready to proceed with the rest of the course. Now, if you had any issues with that, as I said, the best thing to do is uh, do a quick restart on your machine. That should clear up any issues. The other option is if you want to go for a paired option where you're not actually setting up anything on your own machine, you may know I use code anywhere. So if I go to codeanywhere.com and from my previous courses, if you've taken any of those, you've seen that I've actually used this. Unfortunately, it is a paired option. And if I go to the monthly pay, it looks like oh, it's $6 a month. So I've actually increased the price there. But as I say, if you're not very comfortable or you experience a lot of issues on your local machine, and to be honest, there are a lot of variables in a local machine install, it might be an option to choose this. Now I've got no affiliation with these guys whatsoever, no kickbacks, anything. It's just a, an online system I use for some of my projects. It is quite handy and it's something you might want to consider. If not, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and we'll crack on with coding Hangman. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.